Hi there, Cancer. Hope you guys are having a great January. Here is your mid-January reading. It's going to cover approximately the middle part of January and the latter portion of January. So about the last two weeks or so, okay? I'm sensing smooth sailing for you guys, smooth sailing. Feeling the flow, okay? Rolling with the punches, rolling. Uh, recent past, wow, you guys got that in your, oh, sorry, deep past, you got this in your recent past, I believe in your last reading. Recent past, current state, advice card, near future. This is the hopes and or fears. The final outcome. The, ener the energies that you really harness that help lead you to your current state. The environmental energies. The energetic pathway that you're moving into. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, and below the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Below the Five of Wands, we have the Star. Beautiful. So let's take a look here, okay? Now, I remember from your last reading, there was an emphasis on mm, the past having dealt with sort of the firm foundation of, of uh, attention to sort of the tangible financial career driven aspects of life. Okay. And the culmination of that sort of phase and then the, the newer foray into more creative energy, more emotionally nurturing energy. Okay. So Father of Pentacles is in your deep past. Okay, so similarly to the last reading. And you have another Son of Pentacles here, right in the center, and an Eight of Pentacles as your sort of thematic card. Okay, so um, there is an emphasis on sort of the building and the harnessing, the maintenance of this web that you've built over time, right? Of which you are the father of pentacles. So perhaps it's something that you've contributed to that you built up that now just simply requires maintenance. Okay? But we'll get further into that. Now, you have one major arcana in your energetic pathway. So perhaps whatever it is you're experiencing and will experience in the near future will be leading to this sense of revelation even, right? The High Priestess is the most intuitive card in the deck. It speaks of just sort of the all-knowingness, right? This leopard is just chilling, right? Has all the answers, feels secure and safe, even if his background is dark, right? And um, mysterious, right? The moon speaking to intuition and the moon in this Son of Pentacles card speaking to intuition as well. So now you also have three swords cards three cups cards, one's one wand, wand card, and another wand card here if you are considering the thematic set of cards. Now, and at the bottom, right, of these two cards is the star is this sort of underpinning, the basis of all this hard work, let's say that you've put into something, is for the achievement of your hopes and your dreams, 
your deepest sort of, um, you know, fulfillment. So let's get right into it. Um, in your recent past, right, moving forward from this position of ultimate stability in terms of finances and career, or at least feeling more stable, right, with whatever it was you were hoping to bring about, you have the Four of Swords in reverse, okay? So th I'm seeing this situation as a sort of opening, right, of, of a, an otherwise locked in youthfulness, okay? I'm seeing it as the encagement of the child within really being let out, okay? So stepping into that energy, you were led to the slow release of emotional um, um, expression and truth, right? The dabbling. There's so much color on this card, right? There's a playfulness, there's a youthfulness to this card. And it is a 10. It's culminating, right? The cycle is culminating. So there is a certain uncaging, right? unleashing of emotions and one that has been locked up over time right now moving into your current state you have the two of cups in reverse okay and the two of cups really speaks to i see this card in the context of the rest of the cards here as sort of it's almost petty right it's almost insignificant even in terms of its comparison to the energy you've been harnessing, right? The, this is the ultimate expression of, of, your, of your truth, of your emotions, your innermost emotions. Now, this can be one of two things, or two things. <laughs> um, by expressing these truths and these emotions, right? The unleashing of your inner child. There could perhaps be sort of a loss, a falling away of, of, of a um, relationship of some sort with someone else, right? In speaking your truth, okay? In, in allowing yourself to um, be set free, right? For this sun to shine, it could come at the cost of even an, an element or an aspect of codependence, okay? I'm seeing this two of cups, right? As sort of the happiness that's brought on by the company of someone else or something else that's outside of us, right? So it's really, I feel, the, the falling away of this sort of insignificant, superficial even, in comparison to the 10 of cups, right? 10 is true, this is all of our emotions. These are our experiences that we accumulated over time, right? And so the two is kind of like the first date, right? Exchanging words, um, favorite colors, right, so to speak, sort of the surface level introductory sort of emotional exchange. This is really the expression of your um, emotional uh, capacities and truth, okay? And so it can just simply be this transformation of emotional regard, right? Finding that this sort of, this sort of emotional satisfaction no, no longer does it for you, right? And instead, looking within yourself, allowing your inner child to come out and play, and finding the joy and the satisfaction from that, okay? Now, in your advice position, you have the Three of Swords in reverse, okay? 
So paired with this two of cups in reverse, it seems that there is a sense of, of um, letting go, right? Letting go of what we thought gave us a sense of fulfillment and emotional satisfaction, okay? Letting go of even the pain of letting go, right? That's how I'm reading it. Now, moving into your near future, you have the two of swords. So you're going from a three to a two. This three is in reverse and this two is upright. So I see this as a quick turnaround, right? Two, the sort of opening this new world and one that really opens up to a world of fire, passion, wonder and creativity, even mystery, right? Speaking to the circularity of this 10 of cups and even to the circularity of this moon that is, that's embracing this pentacle on the Sun of Pentacles card. Okay, there's a lot of circularity, the sun on the lamb's forehead, this globe that the high priestess is um, protecting in a way, right? Just sitting with on, on what looks like the earth. So there's this sense of uncovering, right? Being open, making the decision to open yourself to this new phase, okay? And letting this energy just slip right out, right? This is not really taking precedence you're turning around with, with, with a focus, with a focused energy and one that really speaks to the harnessing and the outlet of your truth, okay? And that's guided by your intuition. So in your um, hopes or fears position, you have the four of cups in reverse. So customarily upright the four of cups speaks to sort of the hoarding of emotions right the blocked emotions not speaking your truth not expressing how you feel so and also not not following your intuition with how you feel but in reverse right it's the unplugging the declogging in a way right and there's a lot of flow, a lot of movement, flow, flow, flow. That's the feeling of getting flow, definitely open pathways. Okay. Um, and this could be speaking to this reverse too, right? All the emotions that related to this situation or this situation is now being is now falling out right this is this is old this is no longer relevant in a way right and the symmetry of these two cards is is quite similar right you have this moon atop here so um right and these animals are both sort of perched on top of something okay on looking over at something else but it appears that this leopard or tiger has his eyes closed. So there's a sense of being at peace, right? Even if it's amidst the darkness, even if there is an inherent mystery to the world that surrounds him, he's at peace, okay? You do have this card in reverse, so we'll get to that. But ultimately, right, there's this, this feeling of, um, now listening to your intuition this energy of hoarding not listening to your intuition is falling out is in reverse okay is no longer relevant and i see it as a hope okay now in, in your final outcome you have a ten of wands okay i see this as the the ultimate sort of culmination of efforts okay that dealt with a past situation of some sort okay even a past previous 
old and outdated way of doing something, right? Of getting things done is now being reinvented with this 10 of cups. So you have a 10 and a 10 in reverse, okay? Which is speaking to it not fully coming about yet or coming about in a slow, gracious manner, okay? Now, in your environment position, you have the Son of Pentacles. And the color theme is quite similar to this Two of Swords. This could be someone in your environment who is rather focused on their goals, on their tasks. Okay. Someone who is more serious in nature. Um, when they set something, right, to their mind that they want to accomplish, they really go for it. Okay? And perhaps this figure in your midst can try, whether consciously or not unconsciously, try to push out this sort of more creative approach to whatever it is that you want to complete or, or however it is you want to move forward in whatever new manner or way, right? This prominent Son of Pentacles energy um, or even your environment, right, could be requiring of you to remain focused, to remain focused, to not forget this sort of um, grounded approach, okay? There's a lot that you seem to be doing away with. There's a freshness and a newness to this sort of um, next stage that you're embarking on and this transformation of your, uh, your, your, your energy, right? And your being. But still, right, your environment remains grounded, stable, and one that almost like has their eye on you in a way that, again, rather um, either consciously or non-consciously. It's one where you feel that there is an expectation still to perform in a responsible manner, in a grounded way. Okay, and you can find that your environment might be tempering and, and could be what is slowing, slowing the transformation that's taking place here with the Ten of Cups. Now, in your energetic pathway position, you have the High Priestess in reverse. Okay, so this could be speaking to the sort of quiet intellectual, sorry, quiet intuitive approach that you are taking. The way that you're looking forward into the future is sort of knowing that this is the approach you want to take with things, right? One that is otherworldly, one that is tapped into your emotions, tapped into uh, your intuition, right? One that's more creative, really being the creator and the manifester of your world, okay? Having more peace, but feeling that perhaps you're somewhat impeded upon, right, by your environment. Your, your environment still requires of you to remain grounded. Where this is very intuitive, watery sort of energy, the Sun of Pentacles is very grounded and focused. It's, it's speaking to the Earth element, right? So opposite, sort of. But nevertheless, right, this, this leopard is looking off or this tiger is looking off into the distance somewhat foreshadowing, right? Having in the back of his mind, yes, this is the approach I want to take. This is the outlook I want to have towards however it is that I conduct my life and towards my being, okay? In terms of how I want to be presented in the world, how I want to express myself, make my decisions, move forward right? So you have this eight of pentacles, right? Yet again. So perhaps speaking to the persistence of focus 
and the requirement almost being tethered to this sort of commitment and responsibility of whatever it is you've cultivated, okay? So this Son of Pentacles is looking in the direction of the Eight of Pentacles, and this Father of Pentacles is looking in the direction of the rest of the spread. Sort of sandwiching, right? Um, and, and, and bringing a focus, honing, honing in on the focus of sort of the glue almost, right? Of the reading. Of, of grounded energy, of earth energy. So it seems you're still tied to your responsibility of some sort that is um, grounded and focused and strategic, right? Day in and day out energy. Below that you have the five of wands, okay? So there is a feeling perhaps of, of, of efforts, right, that are being made, but that are just kind of again day in day out monotonous right without real passion zest feeling excuse me that this is not an enriching experience for you really anymore especially compared to this outpour of creative energy right and this however feeling that still again you are expected to still perform towards this goal, right? In this way, okay? It's just not as exciting, but nonetheless, perhaps, right? You are remaining committed to it because it will, at the base of it all, help lead you to your hopes and your dreams, okay? And the film fulfillment of your wishes. So thank you so much for tuning in, Cancer. I hope this reading was helpful for you. Please feel 